Yeah. Well, after waiting for more than four years, it seems like Green Bay is finally getting its watermark project off the ground. A children's museum, a restaurant, and two signed tenants are set to replace the old Yonkers building in downtown. But is the project a welcome addition for all? Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has multiple views. The Watermark Project took its biggest step yet on Tuesday, securing the final $1 million in funding. I just know that we're going to be back to the wonderful, exciting downtown that we had a few years back before everything kind of fell a little bit. Downtown Green Bay business owners say the last four years of uncertainty about the project have been filled with anxiety. Now they say excitement has taken over. Any new um, development downtown brings people down here. It brings, uh, it brings us business. Vetter Dink is the architect group behind the project. Partner John Vetter says because of the loan from Calumet County Bank, by this time next year, the $11 million project could be complete. This was really great news um, to, to have this participant come through. It really pushes the project along in a, in a, in a, in a you know, swift way. This was the biggest obstacle here. I mean, the plan has always been a good plan. But not everyone is thrilled with it. It's the city that's taking all the risk here. Green Bay Alderman Guy Zima says the fact the project took so long to get the funding is cause for concern. This has been hatched for the last five years and not one single local bank would touch this guy. But Mayor Schmidt says now that finances are in order, there's no stopping the project. And once a closing date is reached, it will break ground. In Green Bay, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. Better Dank says it hopes to start construction soon after the new year. It says the project will take between 10 and 12 months to finish.